good afternoon distinguished guests principal ma'am manager sir parents teachers and my dear students it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to the prize distribution ceremony of esperanza fiesta science quiz competition 2022 let me first acknowledge the presence of some eminent guests who are such beautiful souls that people crave for their vibes want to surround themselves with such dreamers and doers believers and thinkers and see greatness in them i once again welcome mrs aryama sanyal director lal bahadur shastri international airport varanasi as honorable chief guest for the occasion professor rana pb singh rwyc president asia ex hod department of geography phu as honorable guest of honor for the occasion principal dr anita paulin de manager mr pradeep kumar de administrative officer mrs pratyasha mukherjee parents teachers and students today we have gathered here for the prize distribution ceremony of esperanza fiesta science quiz competition an endeavor to spark curiosity in the students by creating opportunity for experiential learning this event is organized in the loving memory of our former chairperson late mrs pauline hope sodi the quiz competition was conducted for classes 5 to 8 to give students a break from online classroom learning gain knowledge and give them an opportunity to hone their teamwork skills i now request our principal dr anita paulin de to formally welcome our honorable chief guest mrs aryama sanyal and manager mr pradeep kumar de to welcome our guest of honor professor rana pb singh for the occasion I request ma'am to welcome our guest of honor Professor Rana PB Singh for the occasion Thank you ma'am Now I request Mrs Sandhya Kapoor to felicitate our mentor guide and the chairperson of esperanza fiesta dr anita paulin de thank you ma'am a ray of light is a ray of hope let's all leave darkness and step towards the bright path now we will have our traditional auspicious lamp lighting ceremony and for this i request our chief guest mrs aryama sanyal guest of honor professor rana pb singh principal dr anita paulin de convener of the program mr manish raj senior teacher mr manu kapoor to light up the lamp and symbolically inaugurate this program i also request our administrative officer mrs pratyasha mukherjee to join the ceremony
थैंक यू इट इज अ मार्क ऑफ आर अंडरलाइंग ट्रेडिशन टू इन वोक दल माइटी एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इवेंट अ ग्रेट फिलोसफर सेड द फंक्शन ऑफ प्रेयर इज नॉट टू इन्फ्लुएंस गॉड बट रादर टू चेंज द नेचर ऑफ द वन हु प्रेज सो आई वुड लाइक टू कॉल अपॉन आर स्कूल क्वायर टू प्रे फॉर द ओकेजन sun comes up it's a new day dawning it's time to sing your song again whatever may pass and whatever lies before me let me be singing when the
thank you choir strong leadership is the foundation of a school success and without you that would not be possible well versed with modern pedagogy and educational practices years of experience in developing student centric environment geared towards maximizing learning experiences your logical and critical thinking to solve the problem quickly and efficiently excellent communication skills and management ability has taken the school to greater heights your vision wisdom and incredible passion have made a great difference in the lives of students and teachers it is a matter of great pleasure and honor for me to invite our principal dr anita pauline de for her keynote address a very good afternoon going on to evening and a very warm welcome to the w h smith memorial school to our most beautiful and dignified chief guest mrs sanyal welcome to banaras ma'am you've been here 6 months we hope that you like it can we put our hands together and welcome ma'am and the guest of honor professor rana pb singh who is a legend of our times <laughs> who i consider one of my gurujan so that is why i told him may i touch your feet he didn't allow me to touch his feet but children let me tell you and parents who are here i am very happy that you know after nearly 2 years you know when we get an opportunity to meet people we feel very happy here in school and i have been missing the patter of little feet and i'm very grateful to the government that from monday they are permitting my little babies to come to school from lower nursery so that's something to look forward to of course the teachers have been coming and uh, all the parents who are here today it's a very special occasion and why it is special is that you are the people who should be thanked by the school and rather than by me and my teachers that you thought it fit and gave us the honor of helping to enlighten your children and help them on the path of learning you see you cannot teach anyone i always tell my teachers and they believe this that we learn from the children and the children also know that it is a two way process and ana or jana they teach us and we teach them so this is what goes on in the process of learning and it should be full of fun so in the whole year in spite of the pandemic and being locked up in our ho houses and so many things people have been saying it's very negative but i don't think that this has been a negative time in god's plan it has been a very positive thing when i first became a principal here in smiths one of the biggest uh, problems which i used to face was that parents didn't know their children they didn't have time to spend with their children the many of them would say oh when we come back the child is in the coaching and then in the morning he is off to school she's not there when we when she comes back from the school i am not there we can't connect but now because of the pandemic everyone was locked up together and in the beginning it was very odd you know and i think everyone had to learn how to get along with each other and now when the pandemic is more or less over and things are getting normal now it's going to be uh, you know very sentimental kaise chhod kar ke apne family ke jo char diwari hain bahar jaye school jaye kahan jaye theek hai chalo yaar doston se mil lete hain things like that but in spite of this we had uh, encouraged our children to participate in many events and we are very happy i will not uh, elaborate because the teachers have already prepared a report and the couple of things which we've done this year one of which is that we have connected with the rwic which is an excellent movement which is uh, you know nearly 29 countries all over the world connecting us and connecting the youth back to our cultural heritage it is very important to always have your feet rooted in your own culture and then you look and observe and look what's going on around you in the world and your hands go up and you know you embrace the other cultures also and enjoy what they have to offer whether visually or whether 
you know it is like you learn something everything is covered covered in culture so we are very lucky when in india we say vasudev kutumbakam we actually live it because look at the varied cultural heritage we have in our country and it is like a mosaic and we have to celebrate in smith school ma'am and sir you know that we celebrate our diversity it is a a point of joy for all of us and we do this giving equal importance not only to science and technology giving a, a you know a platform to our students to uh, think innovate do out of the box thinking never mind how weird the idea may sound but we tell them no you think about it you never know and from one point to the other it may become possible and then the same way uh, under the guidance of uh, pratyashya mukherjee we have been also encouraging the social scientists in our school so many social scientists because parents are mostly giving uh, importance to pure science they don't understand and realize that social sciences is very important as well so social sciences also has we've come up with the uh, things during this year concordia was one of them which was an excellent effort on the department of uh, social all the students uh, teachers who are teaching you know social studies and i think that uh, we will consider that a big leap in the progress of our school and the thinking and we feel that the change comes from the school and goes into the society and from here we light the lamp and then it goes forth and then you make the change so the change has to come from within from all of us and then after that the very fact that you are all here being very patient and listening to me shows that you are understanding the need of the r that our country and the whole world wants peace and we want understanding and we want to have a comfortable hygienic good and progressive world so while we have our feet you know rooted in our culture and our traditions we also have to grow and think how we can evolve to prepare our nation for the future to prepare the world for the future so i won't take up any more time but i would take this uh, opportunity to bless all the students who have achieved such a lot you know in the past year in spite of so many restrictions i would like to humbly thank all the parents that you have encouraged your child to participate and of course my beautiful teachers my gurujan can we put our hands together for all the teachers please <laughs> the wonderful teachers who have made this possible thank you very much and i hope you enjoy what we put together today thank you ma'am i now invi invite mrs anuradha tripathi to read the bio data of our founder late mrs pauline hope sodi thank you ma'am a hope propels a better future it builds up your faith and that of others promoting positive changes around us these words gives wings to our thought to remember our former chairperson mrs pauline hope sodi whose name had the great power to create nurture and transform she always had the belief that there is a better life a better world and hope is the companion of power and mother of success mrs pauline hope sodi whom we lovingly call pauline aunty was born to mrs vini constance and mr joseph erland in baroni she was a source of great joy to her parents as she was born after three sons her primary education was completed from saint mary convent school cantonment later she was sent to la martinias girl school in lucknow there she excelled in academics showing a special attitude for english and botany her athletic talents were discovered here she represented her school in hockey at the state level in track and field meet she won third place in the 100 meters dash she joined the indian army during this period She was sent to Bangalore for training for cipher operator. Pauline Aunty was a soft-spoken and kind-hearted person. She liked perfection in everything. Apart from being a perfectionist, she always was a very compassionate person, always ready to lend a sympathetic ear to anyone who she came across. 
She extended a helping hand to all in need. The foundation of William Henry Smith School was led in 1958 by Mrs. Cecilia Rose Smith and Mrs. Wi Mr. William Henry Smith. Since then, Mrs. Pauline Hope Sodi took a great interest in the affair of schools and helped the school in cementing its position through her invaluable inputs. In addition to that, Pauline Aunt, continuous efforts made Big Aunt Mrs. Cecilia Rose Smith and Big Uncle Mr. William Henry Smith's dream come true when she got the school recognized and affiliated to the Council for ICSC examination in 1987. Realizing the importance of physical fitness of students, she introduced many new games like throw ball, tennicoit, track and field events in the school's curriculum. She, this effort of her gave ample testimony to the facts that she was a firm believer in the school maxims onward and upright. Dedication, faithfulness, courage, hard work, loyalty and love is what she taught us at Smith's. I would like to conclude with, conclude with the following words. You were born to be a player. You were meant to be here. You were meant to be a winner. Thank you. Henry Ford says, coming together is a beginning. Keeping together is a progress. Working together is a success. It was indeed this mantra that has brought us where we are today. Collective work is the secret behind our progress. I request our headmistress, Mrs. Sangeeta Nayak, to present a report of the achievements of our school in the year 2021. Good evening, dignitaries and the audience present over here. We had various programs all through the year and uh, we'll be presenting some of them, the major programs before you. And first of all, in the line, I will present before you report on Esperanza Fiesta that was held for the primary section in 2021-22. Smith Tech Fest is an integral part and an yearly feature of our school. It's a complex of events to promote the scientific temperament in young citizens. Session 2021-22 celebrated the gala event Pauline Hope Sodhi Kids Fest in the loving memory of a former chairperson, late Mrs. P.M. Sodhi, under the banner Esperanza Fiesta 2021-22 in the month of October 2021. This event was held at two levels, at intra-school level as well as inter-school level. At intra-school level, more than 500 students from lower nursery to class four participated with full enthusiasm, zeal, and passion. Events were divided into three categories, nature cosplay, one minute video on fancy dress competition for classes LN and UN, I am scientist, two minutes video on the innovation of any scientist for the class one and two, and spark of science, a quiz competition for classes three and four. It was amazing to see wonderful videos pouring in of a young budding scientist with innovative ideas showcasing their talents in just one to two minutes of clippings. Both the events were divided into four levels of screening round and the final selection of the winners was done by our respected principal ma'am. In the event Nature Cosplay, the winners were De Debanga Fani and Sanvi Pandey for lo from Lower Nursery, and Jigyasa Pandey and Kavya Das from Upper Nursery. In the event, I am scientist, Shesh Keshavani and Drishti Upadhyay from Class 1, and Parimiti Dube and Adya Kumari Varma from Class 2. In the event, Spark of Science, Kavya Dhawan and Atav Raj backed first prize and Advika Singh and Vansh Basin won second prize. At inter-school level, it was first time in the history of Smith School that we organized an inter-school competition at primary level. About 24 schools from our state of UP participated in the inter-school events. Our school children, Priyanka Sharma from class one and Flavia Preet Kaur from class two won the first prize in the category I am scientist at inter-school level. 
Akif Salam of class 3 and Shirin Khanna of class 4 qualified the category Spark of Science at inter-school level. <laughs> Pauline Hope Sodhi Kids Fest under the banner Esperanza Fiesta was an endeavor of the science faculty along with primary teachers led by a principal Dr. Anita Pauline Day and manager Mr. Pradeep Kumar Day to spark curiosity in the students by creating the opportunity for experiential learning. It was worth spending time and energy as we witnessed the scientific fervor sprouting and taking shape among our little scientists as the event went along. I'm happy to announce that our science faculty has taken a resolve to continue Esperanza Fiesta every year at inter-school level and looking forward a step further to organize it at interstate and international level, fulfilling the dreams and visions of our leaders. Now, I request Mr. Yogesh Chandil, Faculty Computer Department, to show us the glimpses of the efforts of the students. Thank you, Yogesh, sir. I would now request Mrs. Sangeeta Pandey, Senior Faculty of Science Department, to read the report of INSPIRE Award. INSPIRE scheme was launched by the Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. The main objective of this scheme is to expose students to science at an early age and help towards building a critical human resource pool for strengthening and expanding the science and technology system and also to increase the research and development base. We are proud to announce that our school has been a regular participant and recipient of the INSPIRE Award from the Government of India from past few years. It is indeed our proud privilege to announce that in the year 2020, three students, Amritesh Pandey of class 10A, Arnav Jain of class 8A,
Kartike Shankar of Class 10B received Inspire Awards certificate and a cash prize of rupees 10,000 each at the district level from the Government of India in the year 2021. The school management also recognized their effort and they were awarded a cash prize of rupees 5,000 each. Both Arnav Jain and Amritesh Pandey were selected by the district officials to participate in the state level competition. <laughs> Moving a step ahead, Amritesh Pandey of Class 10A got qualified to represent the school in Inspire Award competition at the state level. From where? 1,000 best ideas innovations will be selected on the basis of novelty, social applicability, environment friendliness, user friendliness and comparative advantage over the existing similar technologies. The best 60 ideas innovations will be showcased at the national level exhibition in the year 2022. We hope to be one of them. The students whose model was selected for the participation in Inspire Award 2021 are Aryan Raj, Class 6C, Pratishtha, Class 8A, Arnav Jain, Class 9B, Amritesh Pandey, Class 10A, and Tanmay Srivastava of Class 10A. For Inspire Award 2021, Models of Aryan Raj of Class 6C and Tanmay Srivastava of Class 10A has been selected by the district officials for the participation in, in the next level of the competition. Intra Inspire Award competition was organized at the school level in which more than 300 students from classes 6 to 10 poured in their ideas. The best idea was selected after several steps of screening round and the efforts of the students were acknowledged by the school management. The winners of the Intra Inspire Award competition were Kostub Gupta, Class 6B, Angel Varma, Class 7A, Shriyam Shankar Dubey, Class 8A, Divyanshi Srivastav, Class 9B, and Arav Kumar of Class 10B. Now, I request Yogesh sir to show us the glimpses of the efforts of the students. I have made this after seeing the problem that when disabled person goes outside, they may have to wait or stand at a place with crutch. They being disabled will feel pain while standing at a place from one leg or an artificial leg. I have attached a foldable seat with a crutch which will help the person to open it and sit where they used to stand. I have also made a seat cover with a plastic sheet because in some cases when the disabled person becomes wet in unexpected rain because he she can't escape or he she forgot to take umbrella with them, in that case the seat will not absorb water and will be suitable to sit. I have made a pocket like space where the people can place their small belongings such as mobile, charger, earphone, power bank and many other items. As you can see in India, crime against women has dramatically increased since few years. Women are not at all safe at their workplace, street or anywhere else. Women have a difficulty in travelling during night times and evenings. They have always been a fear of being followed by someone. And it's very difficult to seek help from police department or family members in case of emergency. So, I have a solution for this. That is my device, Charan Paduka. So let's see how it works. As you can see my model, uh, its name is Charan Paduka. As its name suggests, this whole device can be set up in a normal shoe, sleeper or most women like to wear that is a heel sandals. So as you can see in one part of my sleeper, I have connected this PIR motion sensor, buzzer and a switch and to power the supply, I have attached one battery. And as you can see in the PIR motion sensor, 
there is a two panels from the first panel you can set the duration of alarm and from the second panel you can set the time for to detect the motion alarm as you can see i am doing again okay and this whole device can cover a range of 7 to 8 meter i repeat this whole device can cover a range of 7 to 8 meter as you can see this uh, switch is uh, i have attached one switch through which suppose if a woman feels that she is safe then she can put this off and suppose if she feels that she is not safe then she can put on this switch suppose i am uh, i have turned on this switch now whole device is switched off as you can see uh, and again i will put this on then again the device will start working and coming to other side of the sleeper as you can see i have attached one arduino nano chip and I, in this chip i have done some programming in c++ arduino language and through which uh, my uh, through with my codes this whole all whole device works as you can see i have attached to one gsm module and inside it i have inserted one uh, micro sd sim card and here you can see i have attached one dc to dc buck converter i have attached one attached one gps uh, tracker to send a exact location in the form of url link as you can see uh, here i have attached two push buttons you can see as i have attached two push buttons the first push button is used to send a message to a police department in the phone and the another push button uh if suppose a woman press the another push button then i will uh, receive uh, receive a call and women can make a call to their family members or a relative so let's see how it works as i'm going to press this first put button so let's see what happens as i have pressed this first put push button then i will receive a notification message within a 5 second and as i have received as you can see police department notification police department and i am in danger please help me and with its exact location in the form of url as i am going to press as you can see it's showing the location as this whole device is set up in my house so it's giving my home location as you can see this totally working and by uh, push this push button if she clicks on this then uh, she can she could make a call to their family members or a relative as i'm going to press this call push button as i have pressed and within a 5 seconds i will receive a call as you can see i have received a call with family relatives so this uh, whole device works on this on my programming code which is done in c++ arduino language and this is very safe and secure and a fastest way to seek help for the women and a fastest way to communicate and send a exact location of in the form of you thank you yogesh sir apart from striking advancement in academic achievement w h smith memorial school offers countless opportunities for students to take part in all sorts of co curricular activities and community services to broaden their exposure and insight Our school has taken an initiative to create awareness among the students about the significance of peace and harmony and to make this world a better place to live in. A virtual inter-school event Concordia was organized to observe the Hiroshima and Nagasaki day in the year 2021. Now I invite our administrative officer Mrs. Pratyasha Mukherjee the instigator the prime motivator and the mastermind behind the event concordia to brief us about this program ma'am good evening to one and all present over here a few months back i had the opportunity to attend a workshop organized by unesco new delhi head office and the theme for that workshop was engaging youth for social cohesion and in that one of the most important points which was highlighted again and again was that we have to encourage youth to understand peace in terms of daily life peace should not be portrayed or limited to something like a very high fi philosophy something which only bilateral talks or united nations or you know country to country 
the workshop said that we have to encourage youth to understand peace in the most common and simple way maybe for some students peace may be having a burger king ka burger today that's understanding peace in a common way so coming back to the point the point that we have to make students understand peace in a very normal way connecting it to our school we have been doing this from the past years and as many of you all know the our principal ma'am her phd topic the basic the main concept of a phd topic has always been how to encourage students how to talk to students about peace and inculcating peace values in education and she has been the guiding light for all of us for doing so and from many years we have been observing hiroshima nagasaki day and last year when the pandemic when or uh, was on its peak we thought to ourselves that we cannot break this tradition of observing hiroshima nagasaki day so the entire social science department under the guidance of principal ma'am we all went ahead and we came up with the program of concordia and last year's theme was uniting for a peaceful and uh, uh, peaceful future and sustainable future so it is basically a social uh, social science uh, fest which we got together and it was completely done virtually and schools from entire up they had participated so we had continued that and we always encourage students ma'am always encourage students to uh, to talk about peace and understand peace so concordia is one such step in that direction to share more details about it i would like to call a senior history teacher mrs meena mangan thank you pratyasha ma'am every artist dips his own brush in his own soul and paints his own nature into the picture with this meaningful with this meaningful line I wish a very good evening to our honorable guests for today's function principal ma'am manager sir administrative officer teachers students and parents concordia which was first organized in august 2021 in loving memory of the founder of our school late mrs cecilia cecilia rose smith is the brain child of two committed spirited and energetic trend setters of our school our principal dr anita pauline day and the administrative officer mrs pratyasha mukherjee who believe in doing something unique and special and whose thoughts coincide with the thoughts of the former president of india late dr apj abdul kalam who firmly believed that learning gives creativity creativity leads to thinking thinking provides knowledge and knowledge makes us great our principal believes that besides scientific and technical advancement there is considerable need to prepare global citizens who tread on the path of peace harmony and fraternity we feel proud to take such a noble initiative through concordia a virtual inter school social science event to observe hiroshima and nagasaki day and to resolve to unite for a sustainable and peaceful future the seeds of concordia were sown in 2018 when smith school went ahead with program hiroshima and nagasaki never again at malvia center for peace and research bhu through a painting competition at all india level concordia is a confluence of six events conducted in two streams stream 1 for juniors and stream 2 for seniors the events are cinephilic smart phone movie making competition landscape photography competition vision of peace painting competition chance for peace solo singing competition rekindling peace creative writing competition and confluence panel discussion we are the first school in varanasi to organize virtual panel discussion topic for stream 1 was international relations between sa countries in post covid era topic for stream 2 was corporate social responsibility recent horizons all the events were successfully conducted with the support 
cooperation and participation of 26 renowned schools of UP and India, including MAM's alma mater, Lama Tenure, Lucknow. It is a matter of pride for us that Shorya Yagnik secured third position in junior category, Chance for Peace in solo singing competition, and Ria Jaiswal secured first position in senior category in cinephilic small, smart phone movie making competition. Congratulations to both the children. We take this opportunity to inform that conduction of Concordia is a continuous effort of the social science department of W.H. Smith Memorial School with the support of the entire team Smiths. To conclude, I would like to say that we believe that success is not an activity or destination, but it is a continuous, unending process and journey. Thank you. Thank you, Pratyasha ma'am and Meena ma'am. Culture shapes our mind. It provides us with toolkit by which we construct not only our world, but also ourselves and our power. Realizing the importance of culture-based education W.H. Smith Memorial School has connected with RWYC International, that is reconnecting with your culture. I would now like to invite Mrs. Minakshi Singh, Faculty English Department and the team member of RWYC team to brief us about this program. Thank you, Sangeeta ma'am. Good evening, everyone present over here. The protection of intangible cultural heritage and maintaining the continuity of the national culture constitute an essential culture base, cultural base for enhancing cohesion in the nation. This quote aptly suits Smith School when I say that the very fabric of the existence of our institution is interwoven with the thread of intercultural and interreligious diversity, which aptly justifies India's true identity, unity in diversity. Recognizing this characteristic aspect of our school, which is reflected in the activities, both academic and cultural, Professor Dr. Rana P. B. Singh, a philanthropist, a philosopher, an eminent educationist, a mentor par excellence, a leading social scientist of our times, has played a pivotal role in signing a memorandum of understanding between RWYC and W.S. Smith Memorial School on, 20, on 2nd October 2021. Dear audience, it gives me immense pleasure to announce that our school is the first and the only school in Varanasi and the second in the South Asia to be a part of RWIC. Let us put our hands together. <laughs> RWIC, that is reconnecting with your culture, is an international platform which promotes culture and heritage amongst children and teenagers of the entire world. We are extremely thankful to our principal ma'am and Professor Rana P. B. Singh, Vice President, RWYC India, for providing us with such a distinguished platform of RWYC with an objective to promote global understanding, preserving cultural heritage, and becoming active partners in promoting peace and harmony. Being educationist, it was one of the most fascinating and exciting moments to celebrate International Day of Education on 24 January 2022 in W.S. Smith Memorial School. We organized online event on this day to introduce our children India's rich and varied customs and traditions in order to inculcate values and compassion so that they could exist with perfect peace and harmony. An online painting competition was organized for the students of classes 5 to 12 on 24th January 2022. Theme for classes 5 to 8 was festivals celebrated in Varanasi and classes 9 to 12, folk tribal art of India. Students painted their imagination through colors and awakened the spirit of unity, which is the very fabric of the existence of our institution for the past 63 years. 
I'm extremely delighted and proud to announce that the paintings of 10 of our students have been exhibited in Mexico. A short film on unity in diversity has been prepared under the guidance of Dr. Anita Polinde, which was exhibited at the international platform of RWYC. The film highlights the importance of festivals celebrated in different parts of India, thereby encouraging students to embrace different culture and live in peace and harmony, which is the central to peaceful coexistence. Let us watch this film. Golden rays of the Montite come as invitation of the day in Varanasi, a beautiful morning in Varanasi, a land of devotion, pilgrimage, mysticism and poetry tells in various beautiful ways that every day of our life is a new beginning. Varanasi wakes up by offering prayers to River Ganga. The faint chirping of birds, the fragrance of incense, the chime of temple bells, which calls the faithful for morning prayers for Azan from the mosque, chanting of Puttam Sharanam Gachami, and dulcet notes of Shabad Kirtan from the Gurudwara all create an environment of harmony celebrating the diversity of our culture. Festivals are an expression of our rich and varied heritage. The celebrations are a manifestation of the joyous nature of Indians who believe in Vasudeva Kutumbakam. The whole world is my family and the festivities are an expression of this joy reaching out to humanity. Smith School embraces all religions and cultures and expands the horizon of the thinking of students celebrating diversity which has been interwoven into the fabric of everyday school life by the principal Dr. Anita Polinde and the team of dedicated teachers. January is one such special month in India which marks the celebration of the festival of harvest. People in different states of India celebrate this day with pomp and vigor. Here are some glimpses of celebration of various harvest festivals by our students. Marking the beginning of harvest and the end of winter solstice, Lori is celebrated on 13th of January every year by lighting bonfires and dancing to the tunes of Bhangra and Giddha around it. Kal Chakra Puja is celebrated by Buddhists in India by lighting thousand butter lamps chanting for peace and harmony. Bihu is celebrated by young people. They erect makeshift huts known as mezi from bamboo, leaves and thatch and then burn the huts the next morning signifying the destruction of negativity. The keli bhonga that is pot breaking and buffalo fighting are games played at this time. Bhaskarasya yatha tejo makarasthasya vardhate tathaiva bhavatam tejo vardhata miti kamaye Just like the sun rises in Capricorn, the same way we wish you health and prosperity. Makar Sankranti is aligned with the solar cycle. On this day, people bathe in holy rivers, fly kites, worship sun and eat chikki, gazak, tilka laddu, ramdana, jagri and khichdi prepared of rice and pulses with lots of veggies. The religious syncretism based on unity and diversity and multi-communitarism is the essence of Banaras. Varanasi is known for its unique cultural harmony and coexistence which is referred as Ganga Jamuni Tehzeeb. Just like in famous Banarasi saris, the warp and the weft cannot exist without each other. Similarly, the Hindu and the Muslim cannot live without each other. Their existence is like warp and weft of life and they weave a fabric of harmony which is the essence of Banaras. We, 
are a culture of festivals, a way to celebrate all aspects of life. That was wonderful. Let, let us put our hands together. Thank you, RWYC team, and the efforts that has gone through, led by our principal, ma'am. Thank you. As we have seen, the efforts of our uh, principal, ma'am, and the team behind, uh, and we know that W.H. Smith Memorial School has signed a memorandum of understanding, that is MOU, with RWYC. The association with the RWIC is the sole effort of our honorable guest today. Now, I request Principal Ma'am to present replica of MOU to our guest of honor, Professor Rana P.B. Singh. Audience, we are witnessing the most prestigious moment for our school. And we would like to capture this great moment I request RWYC committee members, Mrs. Raki Varma, Mrs. Sandhya Kapoor, Mrs. Sangeeta Pandey, and Mr. Vinay Prakash Singh to come forward for the photograph. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Now I call upon our school captain, Aditi Ashish to escort our an honorable chief guest, Mrs. Aryama Sanyal, to the dais. I call upon our school head boy, Shivind Singh, to escort our guest of honor, Professor Rana P.B. Singh, to the dais. I call upon our academic captain, Rosie Ruth David, to escort the director of Esperanza Fiesta, Mr. Pradeep Kumar Day, to the dais. I call upon our school head girl, Sakshi Sharma, to escort the chairperson of Esperanza Fiesta, Dr. Anita Paulinde, to the dais. I call upon our discipline captain, Arushi Singh, to escort the convener of the program, Esperanza Fiesta, Mr. Manish Raj, to the dais. I request our academic captain, Ruth, Ruth Rosie David, to escort sir to the dais. Now, I invite Mrs. Sandhya Kapoor, Senior Faculty of Science Department, to introduce our guest of honor, Professor Rana P.B. Singh, to the audience. Write the success. On the ocean of knowledge, learning will let you float, and ideas will let you rise to height. With these words, I would like to introduce Professor Dr. Rana P.B. Singh. Sir has completed his PhD from BHU and is a retired professor and ex-HOD of Geography of Department, BHU Varanasi. <clears throat> he has specialized in cultural landscapes and heritage studies. He has been a member of several editorial boards, such as International Journal of Religious Tourism and Pilgrimage, American Journal of Indic Studies, and Journal of Cultural Geography. He has been an active member to the advisory board for the Bhumi project by Green Pilgrimage Network Oxford. You were designed for accomplishment, engineered for success, and endured with the seeds of greatness. These words aptly represent our esteemed guest whose philosophy of life is to serve Mother Earth, reciprocate with messages inherited and serve the youth to understand and absorb the deeper cultural meanings and to reveal themselves in creating peaceful, happy and harmonious world. What our sages provoked, Satyam Shivam Sundaram. Sir is an active member of RWYC International, that is reconnecting with your culture and holds the position of president representing Asia. Sir is a lifetime member of INTAC and also so the founding president of Society, Heritage, Planning, and Environmental Health, and Society of Pilgrimage Studies. He is a member of Steering Committee, IGU, Commission on Cultural Approach, Geography. Sir is a general member of International Organization, IVCN, Specialist Group on 
cultural and spiritual values of protected areas. He has been president of IASR, that is Indian Association of Study of Religion, and affiliate of IAHR, International Association History of Religion, and president of Asian Cultural Landscape Association. He is the vice president of Big History Association of India, which is an affiliation of IBHA USA. Sir has authored six books and 130 research papers and essays on Banaras. He has also been an editor to a series named Planet, Earth and Cultural Understanding, which was published in nine volumes. Sir is also an expert member of ICOMOS, that is International Scientific Committee for Place of Religion and Ritual. Sir is a recipient of Kaushal Ratna, Kaushal Institute, Ganga Ratna, GMS, India, FSF Japan, FIRFS Japan, FAAI Italy, and FACLA Korea. We are really privileged and honored to have such great personality amongst us today. Now I would like to invite Professor Singh to say a few words of motivation to Smedians. Sabhiko namaskar. Pahli baar is tarah biodata mene suna. Mujhe bhi khud pata nahi hai. Kyunki the doi tiri minute lenge jade samay fix hai. और हिंदी में बोलना चाहूँगा क्योंकि अंग्रेजी तो बाहर हम लोग बोलते ही रहते हैं अपने घर में हिंदी तो कुछ बोल लें ये भी एक तरीका है ट्रैवलिंग ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड इंक्लूडिंग एमआईटी एंड हार्वर्ड द ओनली वन लाइन इंट्रोडक्शन वाज दैट ही इज राना फ्रॉम बनारस बनारस दे से लाइक दिस he is from Benares and he is a student of the great giant of geoscience, R.L. Singh. Finish Rana, go ahead. That's all. Nothing like all this artificiality. After all, what is the credit and merit or what you want to be? Simple human being. So nothing like all this artificiality. But uh, I think she collected from all this garbage thing from internet. <laughs> so thank you very much for giving me something which I never deserve this. This, this is by chance. So I remind there are only two incidences. One by a Nobel laureate, Soviet Nobel laureate from physics, Landau, who wrote a book in 1963. And that got a people's publication, only one rupee cost, Indian edition, when we were research students. So our teacher said, Please go through that book. The title is very funny title. This chancy, chancy, chancy world. Okay? Chance to chancy. Okay? A man of naval laureate of physics and talking like this. And then he tried to narrate everything based on chance. So once you read one page, then you laugh. Oh my goodness, this is the world. Why I have cited this? This happened in this way. Just by chance. One is scholar who is now internationally president of the, this uh, commission. She contacted two years ago. She applied to Korean Foundation for fellowship. And then foundation wrote that somebody, since your theme is related to Asia, you should submit a recommendation from some Asian scholar. And then she searched here and there, this, that, and then uh, she found it. Here is a crazy guy. So many pages, all garbage, internet, rana, rana, rana. So, oh, th this is the right choice. An Indian then use the key of emotionality, then he can write a very good recommendation. Okay, this way contact. He started, this is uh, 2019, something November, etc. I received a letter, here is that email. Oh, I have been impressed by this, this, this. Could you please help me like this, this, this? Then I simply said, what you want to do? First, let me know. And then she said, that I, I want to have some comparison with the Asian tradition, using Italian tradition, old, and then Korean. And that's why I am applying for that. Then I put again note that uh, with whom you want to work. Because in Korean tradition, if you want to have government fellowship, First, you have to fix who is the professor, director, or whosoever. And there should be a letter. Then only you can properly submit your form. 
Then again she wrote, my goodness, I don't know anybody. Please help me. And then so many sweet words. Just to impress Indian, you know, we are emotional people. So I said, oh, beautiful lady, here is photograph. And so he's smiling and then talking, okay, help. Then I wrote a letter, okay, when you want to join, I, I am related to Korea Foundation. So unfortunately, are the same chance factor you contacted me. Why not you are joining Sung Kyun Kim, a great man of architecture. In a way, we worked for 11 years and unfortunately my master died last year. So the whole story of now Korea India program, which he started, everything finished. Nobody else just linked like that. Anyway, this way that story started. And then I raised this question that why this always we are talking higher uh, something publication, scopus, nature, all this, what nonsense. If children are not coming, they say, oh my goodness, I thought like that. Oh, okay. And this way journey started in 2020, July. I said, look, I am no way associated to any children's school. Don't put my name anywhere. Strictly, and I am from Banaras, little bit crazy guy. Everybody is crazy little bit here. Lord Shiva city. So don't write my name. Okay. This way journey started. He could not join fellowship because master died and so many things happened. And then suddenly I found my name on the internet. Oh, you have been anonymously recommended to be the president of Asia for this, this, this. There are five presidents. Then again I wrote that, look, I am from Banaras. I am disciple of Shiva. So there is nothing like two. Ek mian mein do talwar nahi rati. Ya to full president bana do, or nahi to kuch mat banao. <laughs> Let me say the inside story that how this whole thing started. And that's why this school came just within few minutes I am finishing that one. And then she talked to me, a WhatsApp call and all that. Oh Rana, you are like my father, mother and all these emotional things, all this. Because see, get information, the fellow from Banaras, you put something religious tone and something emotionality and sweet, well, oh, how sweet you are, wow, wow, wow. Then work will be done, okay? This way work was done. So I said, look, I have two conditions. The one condition is that no way anybody can interfere. Because my culture is different from you people. It is nothing like you can put philosophy, you have to follow what you people always do. She said, I am giving in writing that you can do anything, I will follow you. And then suddenly, again the same Landau word, Chansey, Chansey, I received a call from here, a colleague, some colleague called that ma'am will also talk to you, Anitaji, my good friend of peace journey, I don't know how that peace has been made or not, but at least journey is going on without destination. Peace is without destination, going on, going on, going on. It is something 15, 20 years back, story. And then I said, oh, Anitaji, want to talk to me, why? I'm not doing anything peace or non-peace. No, no, something very special. Look at this whole chance factor. It was uh, September something 26th, 27th, that was called. And then suddenly I say, my goodness, I was just searching like this. Why it is started in Delhi? Why not in Banaras? And that's how on 2nd of October, they have given me full authority with that uh, the digital type of even signature of the international president. They say, look, Banaras is also famous for cheating. I can use your things just to give certificate and give money and all things. She said, okay, okay, I have faith like this. Oh, don't worry, you can do. And this way, this whole chance factor, what Landau talked, this came, the moment I came and just tried to know what is going on, my goodness, whatever planned, everything was already done and since many years. Then on that day, I got honey, calm, some uh, towels, some bhunja, channa, all these things. For two days, an old guy, because I was honored old person in the school, that two days, if you will be locked, everything is here, some medicine, paracetamol, it was two big boxes given to me. When I showed that to my wife, okay, who gave to you? They said, oh, see, take care that if you are not going to 
take care properly, everything is in box, you can close me like this. Don't you feel this is something emotional? What she used to say, Sansakar. Then I explained to Olympia and then Canadian fellow, who is the representing government of Canada, D. Paul Schaeffer, that look, I never imagined that this school is developing that since many years, about 20 years, how to generate sanskar. It is nothing like family tradition. You can't translate as a family tradition. And that's how the word is, it is from the inner call. That's how the phase came under this program that it is started from holistic to universal. When you are saying Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, let me say this is now political stand. Jo politician jan, jata hai, kahi ne janta hai, kaha court hai, kaha se hai, kuch nahi. Hamara, ye hai, Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. I raise this question to a gentleman, a scholar gentleman. You know from where it is? Everybody knows. There is a politician know where he is. But what about you? Yes, I know that is from Upanishad. Now you say, correct yourself. This is from Maha Upanishad. That is the first section, 11th shloka. And you people are misusing this. Completely misusing this. Second part you are citing. First part you are not citing. How one can make Vasudham Kutumukam? Kaise samba hoga? Ishtar pachal ke khali bhashan dhan se hoga? And the answer is already there. The first part of the shloka is Udhar Charita Naam Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. And that Udhar Charita Naam is that sanskar, what Madam is already doing. This. And this way, this whole story. So I explain this. This, what I am saying, this, this I wrote. I am a bad writer, always writing on the computer, so many garbage, so many good things like this. So I passed on to Olympia. This is the essence what you are thinking. When you say deep rooted, deep rooted means go there. You talk to Tulsiji, you talk to Ashoka. See the mythology, touch and feel. Here is a mother plant. This is the way, deeper understanding. So thank you very much. Uh, if you know Indian style and in Banaras, if we speak, nobody stop until you can say, please go. Time is <laughs> over. Okay. The last thing. Last information, you will be very happy. We have already legalized that on 2nd of October. Today it has been announced. And uh, I was so much upset here and their mind has gone. And then two days before, Rakhiji had telephoned me, Sir, sorry to say that uh, we have not received certificate. They said, what certificate is required for this? Oh, that um, MOU? Uh, you know, why you aren't now? Oh, function is going to be held. So how to say that? They said, okay, okay, don't worry, don't worry. Then I said, let me call, she is moving. She is mobile for, and she will return on 28th. Then I got the Banasi style. The she has given him power, a digital signature, and pad is there, mono is there, then why not I can issue the letter? <laughs> this was that has been issued. And then, when I send that copy, copy to Olympia also, and uh, we have a different type of a special mail. I informed that. She said, oh my goodness, I'm extremely sorry. Rana, you have done great job, great job. Okay, thank you very much. So this way, the things happen. Now the last thing is this. That is already, this is now recognized by UNESCO, this particular organization. And uh, I wish, I will do my best that this should be the nodal center of South Asia for this program. So without, without asking any permission, I took the same emotional thing. I wrote to Olympia that when you are coming on 28th, let us have video discussion. And next year we have again meeting with the UNESCO people. And already this is now recognized by 28, 29 countries, government countries not organization, already government has given recognition. So this way, I think that will be a great job. And we have just now discussed some of the programs. I hope that that will make a model. You are already doing this. Somehow there was gap not reaching to that level. Now it is your platform, it is the road. The road having no destination, what I said at the beginning. So that is the one thing. The second thing is, which uh, always need your help. Because uh, we have just discussed, and that was my idea earlier th thinking, but uh, she is uh, having something, something parapsychological power.
Anita ji. Whatever I am planning, she say, this is my plan. Before I say something, they say, Rana ji, sir, here is my plan. Oh my goodness, I thought to say like this and she has taken my plan. So something with a parapsychological level control like this. And that was, which is under that program. And UNESCO, the children program, basic education program, they wanted that children should do something, not you. You are the tool. You are the vital force. Let the children having the painting series, sketches, poem, short quotations, and that all to be linked in a manner that may be a small book. And very subsidized price, UNESCO will give also something. That to be distributed. And we can also put her on the internet and web publication. So she has just showed me, rather I requested, but that was the idea from my heart, but action from madam. So that was the another plan. And uh, in July, we are going to hold uh, international meet. And I hope by that time, this school will represent something much better than that here it is. Already you know that I, I don't know, there was something, uh, one information gap. Two of the photographs, what has been submitted by this school in Tokyo Exhibition considered to be best in Asia. <laughs> and already the message had been, so they said that we have selected these two. Then I said, now I will request, don't send so many, <laughs> send only four and the best, so that again they can be chosen. And then in the next conference, which is going to be sponsored by UNESCO, that will be highlighted with uh, you people. So one will be like close up what students are doing, other will be like whole team. And even for today, I have already requested and given a model, if not given again, I will give one page note with a two photograph lower side and mono of UNESCO and all that, that I will set, that you can prepare so that uh, maybe within few days, again, that will be on the international website. Okay? So thank you very much. Uh, I hope you have tolerated. Retired army को रोक नहीं सकते वो भी बनारसी हो तो बड़ा मुश्किल होता है <laughs> और आते ही आते एक हम पर बजरपात हुआ वो भी चलते चलते सुना दें बड़ा कष्टकारी है लेकिन आप शेयर करेंगे तो मेरा कष्ट दूर हो जाएगा इतनी रिस्पेक्टेड मैडम बड़ा हम लोग हवाई जहाज से जाते हैं सबकी तो वही मलका है एयरपोर्ट की उन्होंने कहा कि मुझे पता है कि यहां 88 89 घाट है हमने कहा कौन बताया ये आपसे कोई महान लेखक हैं काशी के जिनको कोई नहीं जानता और नाम ने महालेख का जिनका नाम ही नहीं है इसे बड़े लेखक है जिन्होंने इसको 88 89 कर दिया है जबकि सारे शास्त्र विधि से लख चौरासी जन्म गमायो इट इज ऑल सिंबॉलिक नंबर इन बनारस द ओनली इन सिटी इन द होल वर्ल्ड एट लीस्ट आई हैव स्टडीड इन 6 7 कंट्रीज एंड थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड आई हैव मूव्ड ओके and what my master taught, this is the only city which has maintained numerical symbolism with the whole body as a cosmos. It will be only 84, never be 85, never be 83. An example I can cite it, that what Banaras people given the challenge. Rajiv Gandhi Ghat, Indira Gandhi Ghat, open and overnight thrown. I have the photographs and collection of that. That was 90s, long back. No way accepted. So how that can be 88? This is just dilution of the culture. 84 is giving 8.4 million organic species in the cosmos. So one ghat is representing 10,000. That is all symbolic. And I have written that this is all published. So something, this is another thing which school already started because they have gone once to Lular Kund. Okay, you remember? Anybody knowing the importance of Lolar Kund? Last thing, let me take, please allow me a few minutes. Please tolerate me. Yes. Kitne loge jante hain ki Lolar Kund ka khali jante hain ki ja ke asnan karenge to bachcha hoga aur ga wo thik se bachche rahenge. Yehi suna hai na? Yehi suna hai na? Lekin vigyan kuch aur kahta hai. I am talking direct NASA and all that. We have worked for six years. On 14th of January, that is Makar Sankranti directly some rays going to touch there 
and then a special raises is going to pass. This is published in scientific literature. I assisted in that program, and the great scientist of India, which Modi ji has especially invited and honored him, his name is Subhas Kak, the only living legend who can talk direct all the Sanskrit literature in Sanskrit. And then the same man who is talking about high level computer and artificial intelligence in the US. And that man has studied a little bit. I assisted there, that's why my name is as assistant, and that is there. And that is a special thing all the solar rages and power, how to divide northerly to southerly, all fixed at Lolar Kunt. So the thing is that once you started this type of heritage journey, Something today we are talking about science, how science is part of culture, what we call cultural astronomy or archive astronomy. These are the words used. So that is another thing, free service. I serve as a guide without money, so don't worry. You can <laughs> come, then I can come with my machine and then I can show what is going on. So thank you very much for giving me opportunity. I became so emotional and so honored that no way I can stop. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you for enlightening us with your precious words and sharing with us about the inception of RWYC. We are truly, truly delighted. Thank you, ma'am and sir. I would now invite Ms. Soumya Saxena to announce the result of Esperanza of Fiesta Science Quiz Competition which was held today for class 5 and 6. Good evening everyone. Winning is fun, for sure. But winning uh, is not alone the point. Not giving up is the point. Wanting to win is the point. Never letting up is the point. And what you have done is the point. It's time for result announcement of Esperanza Fiesta Quiz 2022 of classes 5 and 6. The second runner-up for today's quiz were Team Curie, Kushagra of class 5B and Ananya Jaiswal of class 6B. The first runner-up, Team Mendeleev, Lakshmi Singh of class 5C and Varun Khanna of class 6A. Lakshmi Singh of class 5C and Varun Khanna of class 6A. And the winners for Esperanza Fiesta quiz are Team Darwin, Swastika Shivi of Class 5C and Satvik Mishra of Class 6A. Now I invite Mrs. Ch Ankita Ganguly for the announcement of result of Esperanza Fiesta science quiz competition for classes 7 and 8. Thank you, ma'am. I request classes 7 and 8 students please kindly line up. A winner is a dreamer who never gives up. Now, it's time for the result of Esperanza Fiesta Science Quiz 2022 of class 7 and 8. I would like to call principal ma'am, guest of honor and chief guest to give away the prizes. First, I would like to call second runner-up, Team Mandalay. Participants were Samriddhi Sanskrit of class 7A, Ashmit Gupta of class 8C, sorry, Ashmita Gupta of class 8C, First runner-up, Team Mendeley. Participants were Anshandra Sinha of Class 7D, Vinamri Yagnik of Class 8B. Come on. 
And the awaited moment to call the winner of Sprenza Fiesta Science Quiz 2022 of class 7 and 8. Team Newton participants were Samar Vishnani of class 7B and Rehan Khan of 8C. Congratulations everyone. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am and sir. I now invite Mrs. Sandhya Kapoor, Senior Faculty Science Department, to introduce our Honorable Chief Guest, Mrs. Aryama Sanyal, to the gathering. Strong women don't have attitudes. They have standards and boundaries. With these lines, I take this opportunity to introduce our chief guest for today's event, Honorable Arema Sanyal, Director Lal Badu Shastri International Airport, Varanasi. Ma'am joined Airport Authority of India in 1989 as an air traffic controller. Before her, three women had been appointed in the service, but they served temporarily and left their jobs. So I announce very proudly that ma'am was the first woman to continue her service and eventually become, became the first Indian woman to be licensed for an area control rating, for which she was honored and acknowledged by the Ministry of Civil Aviation, Government of India in 2011. From 2017 to 2021, Ma'am served as the first woman director at Indore Airport. During her tenure, the Indore Airport got many national and international awards from the year 2017 to 2019. After Ma'am became the director of Varanasi Airport, Varanasi came third in airport decoration competition held on the Independence Day on 15th August. <coughs> Her areas of interest are literature, culture, and music. In the year 2021, her third book, Jugal Bandi, was published and won acclamation. This proves that excellence is never an accident. It is a result of high intention, sincere effort, intelligent direction, skillful execution, and vision to see the obstacles as opportunity, and it aptly suits to her. If your actions create a legacy that inspires others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, then you are an excellent leader. With these lines, I once again welcome ma'am and request her to share her views with the audience and motivate and bless the young Spiritians. Before that, I request you all to stand up to give a standing ovation to our eminent guest, Mrs. R.M. Asanyal and Professor P.B. Rana Singh. I'm truly humbled. First of all, I wish to record my grateful thanks, gratitude to the principal, Dr. Anita, for having called me here as chief guest. It gives me a huge opportunity to meet Dr. Singh here. And to witness an, a very historical moment for not only our country, for the entire subcontinent, or I would say the continent of Asia. Because this school becomes, I think, the first school to sign an MOU for transfer of culture. I must really thank ma'am for calling me here. I want to come to you in front of you. Are the two students, the two students, can you stand up please, who made that, what was the word, Charan Paduka, I think. Wow. I must, you know son, I must Sandra congratulate Shabha, you. Seven Aryan it was very innovative. And uh, you really made all of us very proud. I want to give you guys a challenge for my airport. 
before I speak something else. The challenge is, I had uh, told this thing to the students of IIT Indore during my posting there as airport director. I want to give you class 10, 11 students, can you devise a very simple scientific model where it inspires the passengers not to use escalators and use the staircase. Staircase में जब वो चलेंगे तो उसमें आना चाहिए सारे गामा पा मतलब उतना वो सारे गामा पा सुनने के लिए ना यात्री कम से कम सीरी का उपयोग करे बहुत सिंपल सल्यूशन है अगर आप कर सकते हो तो सीरियों के ऊपर हम आपकी स्कूल की नाम और कंट्रीब्यूटेड बाय दो स्टूडेंट्स लिखके हम 2022 में इसको इनोग्रेशन कर लें this will be your contribution to the health of the passengers who want to use the escalator. God bless you, sir. Please have a seat. See, scientific temperament is such a thing which we need to inculcate and build from the very early age, which the school is doing. For this, I feel very proud to be here and witness not only science, but the transfer and the transformation to culture, to peace. Or abhi jo sir ne bole, Dr. Singh ne jo cheez bole, ki Basudeva Kutumbeva, wo ek adhura shabta, uske pehle bhi kuch tha, jo ma'am abhi kar rhi hai, jo hum sab ko amare ghar se karna chahi. Mein abhi parents ko ye kehna chahongi, hum me se har koi, jab hum bade ho rhe te, har koi chaate te ki amare bachcha doctor bane, engineer bane because jab mein bada when I was growing up the parents always wanted us to become a doctor or a engineer lekin uski beyond bhi kuch hai important baat ye hai soch ye agar Albert Einstein ko hum kehte ki taira ki bane swimmer aur Picasso ko hum bolte ki Albert Einstein bane science kare to dono shayad unka jo actualization जो उनका पीक, उनका जो जिसलिए वो पैदा हुए थे, वो नहीं हो पाते। What does it propel us to? It propels us to understand the child that God has given us, to understand our own talent. ना केवल parents, even the person, the child should understand. मुझे किस में ज़्यादा आनंद आता है? मैं कौन सी चीज करके इस पृथ्वी में कुछ कंट्रीब्यूट कर पाऊं? What is the life for? The life is for contributing. Contributing to what? What is the road? What is the journey that you partake? And where does it end? Definitely, whatever starts will it ends also. But during the journey, you should be able to contribute with your fullness. Jaise ek fool muskurate hai, ya titli jaise dance karte hai, wo ye nahi sochte. It gives its fullest. Aapko full dene ke liye khud ko pehchanna bhoat important hai. Ye parents ke liye mein kehti hu. Aaj kal jamana aise a gaya. We are glued to the Facebook. WhatsApp, mobile, हमारे कार्य, हम लोग घर में भी अलग-अलग दुनिया में रहते हैं। We don't connect with each other. Dining table में शायद हम आपस में बात नहीं करते। हमको हमारे घर के सदस्य को समय देना चाहिए, बच्चों को समय देना चाहिए। Only then you can understand your child and guide your child. The school itself is doing a marvelous job. Lekin, to take it forward, the home should also cultivate and give that atmosphere. I am a postgraduate in physics. I was young, we were engineers and doctors. I took a class one officer's examination, all India examination, and I became an air traffic controller. Mere pehle koi mahila air traffic controller bani nahi thi. 
तो जब मेरा पोस्टिंग कलकत्ता एयरपोर्ट पे हुए एज अ 26 सिक्स ईयर ओल्ड ऑफिसर पीपल इज टू गिव मी वेरी क्यूअर लुक्स आप क्योंकि मेरे पहले कोई महिला उस एयरपोर्ट में थी नहीं लेकिन आज मुझे बड़े गर्व है नॉट वन नॉट टू बट मोर देन थाउजेंड एयर ट्रैफिक कंट्रोलर्स हु आर लेडीज हैव जॉइन दिस फील्ड द सेम वे जनरल मैनेजर लेवल एयरपोर्ट डायरेक्टर मेरे पहले कोई नहीं था बट देर आर नाउ मैनी आफ्टर मी वॉट पॉइंट आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राइंग टू मेक यू टू यू एज डरो नहीं आप जो आपको अच्छा लगे उस रास्ता में चलिए किसी उद्देश्य के लिए डोंट लुक एट द डेस्टिनेशन आप आपके आनंद से जस्ट आपका फुलफिलमेंट के लिए आपका एक्सप्रेशन आपका लाइफ एक्सप्रेशन के लिए आप उस रास्ता में चलिए आप नॉलेज को पूरी तरह से भरिए अपने दिल में आपके आत्मा में एंड देन यू विल बिकम लाइक डॉक्टर सिंह इमेजिन इफ यू हैव मेनी 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 डॉक्टर सिंह एंड डॉक् योर प्रिंसिपल डॉक्टर अनिता तो ये पृथ्वी जो है बहुत अच्छा पृथ्वी बन जाएगा तो मैं आप सबको बहुत बहुत बच्चों आशीर्वाद देती हूँ अचीव एंड बी द बेस्ट सपनों वही होते जो हम आंख बंद करके नहीं देखते बट जो हमको सोने ही नहीं देते हु सर इट कैन एनी स्टूडेंट टेल मी प्लीज स्टैंड अप टेल मी गॉड ब्लेस यू गॉड ब्लेस यू May you dream and may you be the best. God bless you. Thank you for inviting. Thank you, ma'am, for gracing us with your precious words. You have spoken to our hearts. I now request our principal, ma'am, to present a token of respect and affection to our honourable chief guest. Now I invite Mrs. Rakhi Verma, RWYC school in charge, to announce the result of RWYC. Thank you, Sangeeta Ma'am. Culture influences the way we see the world, the way we see the community that we live in, and the way we communicate with each other. Based on these ideologies, our school empowers students to learn about each other's cultures, respect them, and create a sense of pride for their cultural heritage. With immense pride, I call upon the names of the students. who have been designated as the ambassador of culture by RWYC International their paintings and films were exhibited in mexico by RWYC america i would request the chief guest mrs ariyama sanyal guest of honor professor rana pb singh and principal dr anita polente to give away the certificates to these young ambassadors in the category of painting competition for classes 5 to 8 on the topic festival celebrated in varanasi i would first call kaustub gupta of class 6 to come up on the stage next in the line is sakina ayub of class 6 sara isaac of class 7 dia bagga of class 8 prachi keshri of class 8 sanskriti soni of class 8 a huge round of applause for these students because they are now international stars in the category of painting competition for classes 9 to 12 on the topic folk or tribal art of india faiza siddiqui of class 9 ilma tabrez of class 9 Kamakya Vishwakarma of class 9 and Ravisha Singh of class 11 For the film on celebrating unity in diversity the young ambassador of cultures are Swastika Shivi of class 5 Amritesh Pandey of class 10 Gargi Tiwari of class 
Swani Jadwani of class 11, Arpit Kumar Gupta of class 11, and Aryan Gupta of class 11. Congratulations, children. It's time to acknowledge and encourage the hard work and efforts of our students of INSPIRE Award. So I would like to call upon the name of the students whose projects were selected for the INSPIRE Award 2021. Aryan Raj, Class 6B, please come up on the stage. Pratishtha, Class 8A, please put your hands together for these students. Arnav Jain, Class 9B. Amritesh Pandey, Class 10A. And Tanmay Srivastav of Class 10A. It is a proud moment to announce that in the year 2021, models of Aryan Raj of Class 6 and Tanmay Srivastav of Class 10A has been selected by the district officials for participation in the next level of the competition. So I call upon Aryan Raj and Tanmay once again on the stage to receive the certificate. I would like to mention that school management would like to recognize the efforts of these students by giving them a reward of rupees 5,000 each. Please put your hands together for these students. The reward is of 5,100 rupees each to these students. Let's give a big round of applause to Arnav Jain of Class 9B for participating at the State Level Inspire Award 2020. Arnav Jain, please come up on the stage. Permission from uh, Dr. Anita, principal of the school. I have given a challenge to the students. Now I want to give a challenge to the teachers. Usually we always appreciate the doers, the student who does very well. The challenge is to the teacher and the offer is from myself. Next year when you have this function, ma'am, mujhe batayenge ki kaun si teacher, ek teacher ko aap paanch weak student dijiye ka, weakest in the class. Aur jo teacher us weak student ko ek dam saamne leke ja paayenge, mere taraf se paancha dar ek rupay. My Ma'am, I, I would like to share a piece of information since you are new to the city of Varanasi that for the last 25 years, every year the children who, do, uh, who show improvement within the year, whether they don't, get, they don't even get 80s, 90s, but there is a 10% improvement. The class teacher makes sure that they get awards. So every year we give them awards in each section in each class. Yeah, I'm I, sure you'll be very happy. I'm so happy, but I want. But to, the, I teacher. Want the teacher. Yes. So, so now we will tell you. In the whole school, there was one teacher who was the most difficult to do. Boeing 747, 460 north's speed. We go to the speed. We sit down and relax. There is a small plane. We learn how to fly. What do you say? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? जिस प्लेन में हम उरान भरना सीखते पायलटिंग उसको क्या बोलते कौन सी जाद होता है वो एनी टेकर एनी स्टूडेंट कैन टेल मी एनी बॉडी इंटरेस्ट इन एविएशन बताइए सेसना तो सेसना जहाज जो है टिक 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 करके चलते वो गिरने से जहाज गिर भी जाते 
सेसना को अगर आप बोइंग सेवन फोर सेवन नहीं बना पाए कम से कम फोकर बना दो कुछ बना दो तो वो टीचर मुझे चाहिए अगले साल मुझे बताइएगा थैंक यू सो Let's give a big round of applause to Arnav Jain of Class 9B for participating at the state level Inspire Award Competition 2020. A big round of applause to Amritesh Pandey of Class 10A, who has qualified for the state level Inspire Award for the year 2020. The school management. would you like to recognize the efforts of amritesh pandey by giving a reward of rupees 5100 i now request our administrative officer gratitude will shift you to a higher frequency and you will attract much better things This is a quote by Rhonda Byrne. With this beautiful quote, I would like to extend a heartfelt gratitude to everyone who took out time from their schedule and were a part of today's prize distribution ceremony. Thank you for making this event a huge success. First and foremost, I would like to thank our chief guest Mrs. Arima Sanyal ma'am, airport director, Lal Bahadur Shastri International Airport Varanasi. and guest of honor professor rana pb singh rwyc president for taking out time from their busy schedule and gracing this occasion we are deeply obliged by your presence as it is rightly said that leadership is action and not position i especially thank principal ma'am dr anita polinde and manager sir mr pradeep kumar de for setting an example of working hard and giving us an opportunity to make the ceremony a reality thank you sir and ma'am for always encouraging us to challenge our own boundaries and achieve more i would like to thank all our dear parents who encouraged their wards to participate in various events dear parents without your support and encouragement this event would not have been possible in the same order i would like to thank all our dear students who participated and gave their 100% your participation meant a lot a mentor is someone who allows you to see the hope inside yourself therefore i would like to thank mr manish raj the convener of the program and mrs sangeeta pande for organizing this event and providing the expertise as rightly said Teamwork makes the dream work. I extend my gratitude to the entire Smith School team, our coordinator, Mrs. Sangeeta Nayak. I would like to thank Mr. Manu Kapoor, Mrs. Sandhya Kapoor, Mrs. Anjali Tandon, Mrs. Anuradha Tripathi, Mrs. Soumya Saxena. I would like to thank the entire technical team, Mr. Rajan Pandey, Mr. Yogesh Chandel, Mr. Rahul Mishra, Mr. Chandan Seth, Mr. Emmanuel, and Mr. Jacob. I would like to thank all the teachers in charge of various events who worked at the grassroots level. In addition, I would like to thank all the teachers of our school for being a part of this event and always encouraging us. Last but not the least, I would like to thank our supervisors, Mr. Shubhajit Mukherjee, Mr. Salesh and the entire team of supporting staff for making this event a huge success. Thank you and have a great evening.